Oh, that's a good time. This sword, this is, a, uh, this is a French sword <laughs> bayonet. It's bayonet. So it's a, the muzzle. Yeah, the muzzle of the uh, the rifle would go through the uh, through the hole. And, uh, apparently got stuck in a German. That's why it's dead. <laughs> This is so when you savor champagne, and I'll explain how to do it, there is a seam on the bottle. And it's all about a pressure point on the bottle. Where the seam meets the, the, the lip up on the bottle is the weakest point. And uh, the idea is you're gonna slide the slide the saver down the seam to it doesn't you don't have to hit it very hard. And uh, that's where it's going to fracture and just blow the end of the bottle off. So I look for the seam right there. Now, who and why yes. started this? Scene? This is a supposedly, this is a Napoleon <laughs> tradition, apparently. When he would, in victory, he would uh, celebrate with champagne, and they had no way of pulling the corks of the bottle because it wasn't, ever, it wasn't always corked like this. So they savored the tops off the bottles. Oh, and that's, that's, that's where it came from. The day he died, uh, apparently he didn't have champagne to drink either. Uh, Did you take the cage off for savoring or no? You don't need to. No. You don't need to? Okay. So oh. is that lip there for the cage or for the savoring? The uh, lip is there to hold the, the cage on. I mean, you can take it off, but uh, it'd be nice if you could do it with the cage on, but you, uh, you really can't, so. Yay! Yeah! Well, there'll be many more. I'll do another one. I'll do another one, and then, uh, let's see. So it comes off nice and clean, there's lots of pressure, so if there was any glass that came out with it, it just slides off. Alright, you guys.